Welcome to Tapping with Shakti. Today we're going to be tapping on 25 affirmations that have to do with grief and or loss. So before we begin, I'd like you to tune in to your particular situation or experience in your life where you're experiencing some grief or loss. And let's have you rate your feelings right now or the sense of, of loss or the sense of disconnection or intensity of pain. We'll say that 10 is quite high, it's big. Zero is it's not, not really present. And so just being truthful to yourself, noticing where you are on that scale and perhaps jotting it down. We're going to be tapping on these 25 affirmations and we'll be using a variety of tapping points and you can tap along with me like as in a call and response or if you have a favorite tapping point, you can tap on that. Sometimes people prefer just to stay on this point or you can follow me. You can be saying the affirmations out loud if you choose or you can say it silently inside your head. So let's begin on the inside of the eyes. I release the painful past and eagerly look forward to the good that awaits me now. Moving to the outside of the eyes, I release my previous expectations and allow a benevolent universe to support me. Under the eyes, I have faith that I am being guided to my next step. Under the nose, although I grieve for what I lost, I know that a greater good will follow. On the chin point, a new door in my life stands open before me. On the collarbone, when one door closes, another door opens. Under the arms, I bless and release all those who have caused me pain. Wrist together. I forgive everyone. I forgive myself. I let go of the past. I am free. Top of the head. I forgive myself for love and affection I withheld in anger from myself and others. On the inside of the eyes, I forgive my mother and father for their imperfections. On the outside of the eyes, as I forgive, so am I forgiven. Under the eyes, I accept the importance and positive lessons from past experiences, including the painful ones. Under the nose, I release all guilt, shame, and blame resulting from my past thoughts and actions. on the chin point, I forgive, and you can name the person, for leaving me.
and on the collarbone. I forgive myself for leaving, and you can name the person. Under the arms, the death of a person or a relationship is a natural part of the cycle of life. Wrist together. I can feel the sunshine, even when the clouds are overhead. Top of the head. I fill my mind with positive, nurturing, and healing thoughts. On the inside of the eyes, I accept myself as I am. On the outside of the eyes, I accept others as they are. Under the eyes, everyone, including me, is doing the best they can. Under the nose, Everything in my life brings me closer to God. On the chin, I trust my future, even though it seems uncertain. On the collarbone, I acknowledge my feelings as a necessary part of the healing process. Under the arms, I face the future confidently, knowing that I am protected in God's presence. And taking a pause, allowing that into your body, maybe drinking a little water and checking back in with the level of grief or loss that you're experiencing. Perhaps you were at an eight or seven and now it's come down to a three or four. Of course, you can play this video again and use it when, when you want. So thank you for joining me today. I wish you well with lots of aloha. Take care.